quiet, should we start again? I have been climbing a long time, a long time now. I started competing back in 2008, well, for the British team in 2008. Um, about a year prior to that, I was starting to enter a few more comps and things. In, in retrospect, actually, I've been doing comps since I was a pup when I started when I was 14, but I didn't really start properly until 2008 when I got selected for the team. And from 2008, to 2015 I was really lucky to be part of the team and travel the world competing and a huge part of my life it was it was my life it was my life for eight years and um, highs and lows but it was it was an amazing amazing time in 2015 when I got dropped from the team it was a big um, change and the team had given me such focus and something to really like believe in and get immersed in and when I didn't have it it was I lost all passion and love for it really I didn't know you know I didn't know what I was training for you know it's, it's when you when you don't have goals it's impossible to to move forward for me personally I find it really difficult so I didn't put my shoes for 12 months which was probably the worst thing I could have done um, going cold turkey I think for any addict is is the worst thing you can do. <laughs> you need to go through some controlled withdrawal. I feel healthy now and I feel able to train, but ultimately the thing that's been holding me back is creaky old body. Um, and at the moment it's my, my fingers, you know, they're, they're the things that have, that have buckled. I think we kind of knew, like Robin, kind of knew there would be issues but yeah the fingers are obviously the most important bit and that's that's what I've been struggling with but I feel in great shape I feel healthier I was not living a healthy lifestyle before and getting back into you know, yes I've been living like a monk but I feel better for as a result of it I quite like it out here I do like uh skipping and stuff out here as well for my cardio and for some reason I stand this tile and that black spot I think that's why it's slightly more warm than the others last winter I entered a couple of comps and things started to go well and you know maybe that's something I should focus on a bit more and then Robin um, said that I should definitely focus a bit more and here we are giving it another shot the climbing community is awesome. Let's not be around. Like we, we're some of the like nicest, most genuine people. And you know, yeah, people are ribbing you with nicknames or whatever. But you know, it's all done in in good um, in good spirits. And you know, people just want you to succeed. The one that gets me every time that I really, really cringe about is the power. John the Power Partridge is like the most ironic nickname I think I've ever heard of. It, it literally makes me cringe. My life changed so much in the last few years that all of the things uh, that defined me aren't there anymore. You know, I was married, I'm no longer married, uh, or as a husband, I'm not a husband anymore. I was a professional climber, I was physically strong, I'm not that anymore. I have and am having an identity crisis, no doubt, 100%. I'm not ashamed to say that I've had some mental health issues. You know, I, I see a therapist. I don't see them now as much. I feel like I'm in a better place that I don't need to. I guess the one thing that has been a constant <laughs> is the dog who has been amazing <laughs> during the process. But yeah, he's pretty, uh, it's been, yeah, it's been a hard couple of years, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and um, you know, if anything good, can come from hearing about some guy ramble on about days gone by. Maybe actually the, the focus is more on the fact that everybody has their struggles and you know you might look at somebody who thinks a certain way or looks a certain way but actually they've got their own issues going on. I'm still rehabbing the finger a lot. It's getting better day by day, but 
it's just continuing the process. I need to be climbing more, this is the problem now. I need to be moving into comp specific training. But ultimately I need to get to as many walls as I can, try as many problems as I can um, and beat the lattice assessment. It wasn't that much of an eye opener because I knew I was going to be rubbish at a lot of different things. So at least it's given me a bit of focus. It's some trickery here, isn't it? It would be good just to get to the comp and feel like I've got a shot at performing to my own ability. Forget the results, but it'd be good to like and not feel like oh my finger's broken and yeah I'm just I'm just here. So I'll be I'll be at the comp. But I want to compete, not participate. I did a spreadsheet as you can imagine and of all the comps that I ever entered and all the ones where I thought I climbed well and there were obviously some events, the Sheffield World Cup uh, in 2012 was it, where that was the only semi-final I ever made and I think that was the only, one of the only times I felt like I climbed really well and apart from that I think the BBC's, the three times I came third, um, I'm definitely the proudest of, yeah. This has been great, this has actually, whilst it's been physically really demanding, has actually felt like a really good thing for me psychologically because it's given me something to focus on um, and I'm not coming out of this at the end thinking that like that's going to fix me but it's certainly helping me evaluate what it is in my life that I feel like I need and that I want um, you know I know I need climbing in my life in some some way I just don't know what that is currently. So I'm going back to the beginning. You know, really, comp climbing was always something that made me happy. Did it make me happy or was it just something that defined me? I don't know. And maybe that's part of this process that I need to figure out if it is actually really important to me. I became very isolated by my own structure. Like, I think everyone does that when they have problems, you know, they withdraw from certain facets of their life. And when my relationship was deteriorating, as I say, it coincided with climbing, so I withdrew completely from that community and tried to put all of my effort into the relationship, which was actually the thing that it needed least. I needed to be healthy in myself. I am, I may not appear it, but I am definitely an introvert. Like I'm much more comfortable in my own space uh, with my own thoughts. Um, I don't generally do very well in large social interactions. Comps should be the thing that I enjoy least. Like I hate being the center of attention. Like, it makes me like physically uncomfortable but in competitions for some reason it just seems to click and be really positive to me and I, I really in, in, enjoy that and I guess maybe maybe it's just people sharing the enjoyment with me you know when you succeed in something not that I need people to validate it that's not what I'm saying but like having them sharing your success is always great like when you top a boulder you've topped that boulder you've done it but people alongside you is in the climbing community, it's the same in any sport, isn't it? for the final lattice assessment. Uh, our run-up hasn't been the best. Like, I feel so much better, stronger, but evidently I'm not. Six. No. Good, left leg goes low, right. Good, and 56, 57, 58. Come on, fight it. Right foot high, left leg out wide. When you're ready, everything you've got, JP. Come on, yeah, yeah, keep going, 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 and down! Oh. Woo! Easy! We can go lighter! We can go lighter! That's good!